Hi there, um, in part four I machined the uh, standard and uh, to be honest everything went okay um, apart from the hole for the crosshead when it comes out of the bottom it's just slightly offset and I thought I might be able to get away with that when I um, sort of put the studs on the uh, sole plate by just offsetting the studs a little bit um, but it's been niggling me and that's to me is a bit of a fudge and I got some really excellent feedback uh, on, on the video, part 4, and uh, the root cause of my problem was um, I used the top of the flange as a starting point to uh, machine the feet and the, the flange wasn't um, well, it was slightly offset so that resulted in you know this bore being slightly offset to the side um, so based on the feedback um, I've decided to give it another go so I've just bought another casting from Stuart Models um, that is uh, round about I think £12 plus VAT plus delivery so in total it's about £20 uh, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run so what I'll do off camera is um, I'll tidy it up with uh, a mixture of filing and the bench grinder just exactly the way I did the first one then I'll get back to you now, uh, one of the uh, comments I received was from a, a guy called uh, Len Roddis, who uh, uses an old Cowles Emmy lathe. Uh, sounds fantastic. And uh, his approach to this was to uh, double check that the holes um, were concentric, which they, they are pretty much, and use a rod and uh, a faceplate on... Um, his lathe so it attached I think he attached a 3 16 plate to the face plate and in the 3 16 plate he'd um, put a thread of I think an M6 thread in there then he'd found a piece of rod and put an M6 thread on this side and screwed this into the face plate and then put that on like that and, and bolted it on I think now I'm going to use a similar approach, uh, but I'm going to use this bolt that I found, and uh, it's an M12 bolt, so it's 12 millimeters in diameter, and it is really a good fit. So my plan is I'm, I'm going to chop the head off, and I'm going to find um, a bit of rubber, and uh, create a thickish rubber washer, and the flange that the plan is to put put this in the three jaw chuck and uh, push the flange up to the chuck and then bolt it on and then I'll be able to machine the feet and hopefully then the feet will be uh, reasonably perpendicular with the centre hole and then I can continue and machine the flange and um, machine out the centre so that's the plan anyway Okay, so the run out on this uh, three jaw chuck is about uh, two and a half to three thou, so I think we're all right. I uh, found a rubber washer, so I'll put that on there. And uh, place the standard on. And I'm not going to put a washer on here, uh, I'm just going to put this bolt on. And nip it up. Okay, so this is my final setup, and uh, everything's sort of nice and secure. Got the life centre on here, and uh, I think I've got about take about a millimetre off here. So um, I'm going to run at about 200 RPM. Uh, I've got a high-speed steel um, cutter here, and. I'm going to cut at uh, increments of uh, 5 thou.
think I need to tighten it up a bit more. Well, the uh, rubber washer didn't last very long, did it? So uh, I've taken that off and uh, I've not bothered trying to put any pack in between the flange and the chuck. And uh, I've, I've nipped the nut up. Um, I don't want to over tighten that because you know you've got to be a bit careful with castings, I think. Um, so we'll see how we get on now. good well the uh, machining of the feet on the lathe went uh, really really well I'm, I'm very happy with that it's a shame I didn't do that uh, first time round but anyway you live and learn um, so now what I need to do is to take 38 thou off the top of this flange and the process going forward is exactly the same process that I did in uh, part 4 of the series so if you want to look at that, um, you need to go to part 4 and it's 4 minutes and 45 seconds in. So going forward, I'm not going to video any of this um, because, like I say, I'm following exactly the same process as I did in part 4. Um, I might show you some of the original footage speeded up four times. I'm not too sure. Uh, but anyway, once I've completed uh, the process... Um, I'll show you the end result and hopefully this time it'll be spot on. So this is uh, my setup for milling the uh, top and I must say that feels absolutely rock solid. Well I just couldn't resist this bit, I've bored it out now to uh, 5 eighths of an inch and this is the moment of truth. Fingers crossed. I've not seen the result yet so... Yeah! Spot on! Very happy with that. Thank goodness. Well, I followed the same process as before and uh, it's turned out an absolute treat. It's absolutely spot on. So I'm really, really pleased that um, I decided to have another go at this. And uh, thanks to everybody for their comments and support. And in particular to uh, Len for uh, giving me the idea of uh, how, to, how to go about it on the lathe. And uh, if there's any others out there who are learning like me, um, I hope you find the uh, video of use.
So, uh, hope to see you later.